Hi, I'm Jacob, and in a moment you're going to be joining my past self at round three of the Small Car Cup. For now, I'm talking over myself because past Jacob forgot to tell you who I am and what was going on. I'm an 18-year-old aeronautical engineering student with a huge passion for motorsport, which has, so far, led me to some Carnacross cross in my 1995 Celica. This year, I'm trying something new in the Small Car Cup which is a grassroots category for cars with less than 1.6 litres and power outputs under 88 kilowatts. Very limited modifications are allowed, meaning it's slow, cheap, and, as I found out at Pheasantwood Circuit, a whole lot of fun. I started in round three because my dad and I spent ages looking for the perfect car, which we think is our 1998 Nissan Pulsar. It's got 1.6 litres and 86 kilowatts. This round, it had no mods and was running on the old road tyres we got it with. Everyone else was using the series specified semi slip. The format of the day was 5 minutes of practice, 5 minutes of qualifying, 3 heats, and a final reverse grid race. With that out of the way, let's jump straight into the first heat. It's a rolling start in single file, there's no overtaking allowed until the exit of turn 2, and uh, you're joining me here at the start of the pace lap. If we skip towards the end of the pace lap, you can see I've screwed up and I've left too much space between me and the guy in front. Turns out it doesn't matter in the end, because turns 1 and 2 are just a car park. I mean, you can hear me off the throttle, just coasting through them. It's definitely not a bad thing, that, that uh, everyone's nice and cautious at the start of the day, but it caught me by surprise. After we exit turn 2 here, it's game on, but because we're going so slowly, I actually forgot that we were allowed to overtake, which uh, I got, it means I got taken by surprise by this Honda Civic you'll see coming by on the right just now. Um, as you can see, he's not wasting any time, and he's just, bam, straight through. I have to slow down a bit to avoid him. Um, this put me in a bit of a bad position for the next corner, and I lose another place to the silver Mitsubishi on the inside. He sends it down the inside there, which slows the green car down. I try to go to the outside, but it's not the right line, and he's nicely on the banking, and I'm not, so I can't get it done, and I just tuck him behind him down the straight. Here's me chasing that Mirage after a couple of laps. He defends the inside on the entry, which gets me on his right at the exit. All I've got to do is hold the line. He gives me plenty of room there, and I'm through for my first overtake. See me checking over my shoulder, making sure he's not gonna come back around the outside. Uh, give a little wave here to my friends in the timing tower. Uh, here's what they saw. Jump back in the car now. I'll uh, stay quiet and let you ride along for a full lap of Pheasantwood Circuit so you can get a better idea what's going on.
Yeah, that's all there is to talk about in race one. Unfortunately, I couldn't quite catch the guy in front and uh, was just left alone the rest of the time. Next up, we had race two. Um, there's not much to say here because we made a setup change that did not go to plan and I was just in no man's land the whole time. I'll just show you this clip to show you what I mean. You'll see and hear that as I jump on the brakes, they lock up and the car just pulls me in towards the wall. Doesn't really look like much on here, but it was bloody scary in the car. Moving straight on to race three, here's the start. You can see I learnt from race one and I'm much closer to the guy ahead. Everybody's a lot more comfortable now, so there's not as much of a car park this time. Um, I was also feeling much better about the car and I was just determined to catch the guy in front. Unfortunately by now we'd lost the camera that was giving us audio and since I don't want to subject you to the horrific noise that the other one makes, we're just going to have to use our imaginations. We can ride along in awkward silence while I chase this blue car over the first lap. He goes wide there, but manages to hang on around the outside, but I'm right on his bumper through this fast left-hander uh, around the top section, down the hill. Spent a few laps chasing him. Before he goes too deep there, I get the outside, break nice and early, cut back to the inside, and we're through. My next target is the green car ahead. I chased him for a few laps, but I needed a mistake if I was going to catch him before the end of the race. You'll see here there's a big puff of smoke as he locks up that rear wheel. I thought he was going to spin all the way around, but managed to catch it, and now I smell blood. I'm just chucking the car in the corners. I know I can catch this guy. Gained on him big time down the straight, which lets me get right on him into turn two. Show him my nose in case he feels like giving me the room. And he does. But that gives him the inside and the left-hander. And I've got no choice but to follow him here. I get nicely to the inside, though. Hold, hold that line. Stay to the outside and this next right-hander, and then get it on the brakes, job done. Nothing else happened in race three, so on to race four, which was the big final reverse grid race. I was starting fifth. Um, you'll see the start of this one is a bit different. After the usual pace lap, we pull into the pits and then get sent off in pairs with five-second increments. It was cool to come straight out onto the track on like maximum attack because I was the first of our pair and I was determined to escape the guy behind me.
that silver mirage was ahead of us again. And you'll see how I gain on him over the next couple laps. He's on my outside here into the fast left-hander. Manages to get ahead before the corner, so I try to tuck into the inside. But he manages to keep his line through the next right-hander and holds me off there. But I got a good exit from the last turn and did the same thing to him as in race one. Nah. No way. No, he does. He does. He does. Next, I'm trying to catch this red XL, but before I could do that, we were back in the pits for a red flag. Here's what happened. Crash was caused by one of the car's brakes failing. Luckily, nobody got hurt, but um, they were both stuck in the gravel. Then, as I come around onto the final straight, I see there's this car stuck on the racing line he's broken down so session got red flagged while everything got cleaned up after that back out on track for the rest of the race i caught the red xl yeah, let's go and then i had to try past the ford unfortunately the onboard camera was dead at this point but luckily we got some nice footage from the outside. You'll see I have a bit of an excursion onto the grass here as I try to go around the outside. Um, managed to hang on to it. I was, I was determined not to lose any time, so I just kept my foot down, kept the car as straight as I could, and everything turned out all right. Then, after another few laps, I managed to get through. That was that for the day, it was a lot of fun. Stay tuned for some more highlights and videos about my cars and some of the upgrades we've got planned for next race. Should be some good stuff. If you liked or you didn't like the start of the video, uh, I'd love it if you let me know why in the comments. Thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, etc. And have a great day.